Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. If you guys caught last week's video, you know we had a good six day weather window, the best one of the season. Uh, just before that, we had 3.3 inches of rain, and uh, the last two days right after that, we are over two and a half again. So we are saturated. It's literally like springtime conditions around here. Um, this has just been a, a year to remember. We are oversaturated, and I don't even know the next time we'll be uh, end up in the field. The next week is just scattered showers. It has been uh, the year from hell. Well, I'm just pulling into uh, the field up north where our winter rye was. We combined and baled the straw. And uh, I totally forgot we never took you along for this. So as you can see, the Teff regrowth is coming along pretty nice. And this is the rye field. Straw did all right. I'm up here to uh, meet with a straw buyer. There's a guy coming down from up by Duluth somewhere with a vineyard. And uh, I think he's taking 130 uh, straw round bales. So I'm gonna meet with him, get paid. And uh, I believe he's bringing a skid loader down. He's gonna load himself. So all I gotta do is put the check in the bank. But the straw turned out really, really, really nice. So I'm uh, very excited. We still have not weighed the semi loads. None of it went across the scale, none of it sold. But uh, I am really excited to see how this penciled out. And uh, hopefully you guys will see a lot more winter rye on the channel. I know for a fact it didn't do 100, but uh, I don't know. We had uh, the east side of the field right here did really good. And you can see it in the straw once you got to the west side. It was, it was a really poor stand over there for some reason. The weeds really came in and uh, the straw and the grain went down downhill really, really fast. But uh, yeah, we'll take the good with the bad and see what happens. Well, the straw is getting there. Them guys that came in uh, that strawberry farm that came and bought a bunch have five bales left and their machine. We just brought a load of uh, teff from the field across the road to the sale barn and then uh, we grab the rest of the teff on the wagon and uh, I'm gonna put the skid loader on the trailer, strap it down and uh, put five bills of straw. We will probably be out here to grab the rest of the straw this week, but I believe we're gonna go home, check the weather forecast and uh, get at least one cutter going on alfalfa, I think.
Tuesday, August 20th, bulk oil and high tran just got delivered. Uh, chores are done. Got horrible news on the rye. I will uh, share you that with you in a few minutes. It's a bad sign this time of year. Rye is in the bin. Wasn't able to market it. Ah. Uh, multiple different reasons. The rye market's horrible. Supposedly there's too many cover crops and with the wet spring, nobody was able to uh, terminate it and get their cash crop in. So I guess there's so much rye out there. Local rye with basis. Cash bids went from 625 locally to uh, well, all the way down to four and then 350. Uh, the problem is with this stuff, is uh, when I pulled the sample on Wednesday when we were going to combine it, I brought it down to uh, one of the grain or grain terminals that take it, and none of it sprouted. 14% moisture, pretty nice stuff, but we'd had to dry it. So I don't know what happened. Um, basically, we combined it Wednesday, and from Wednesday to Monday, it must have sprouted in the truck. Um, the weird thing is, is it never heated, and still to this day, it's not hot. So I really don't know uh, if it was just on the verge of sprouting in the field, or if we took the wrong sample. Well, anyways, um, once it's sprouted, it can't go for milling, so it's got to go to grinding, um, or cover crop seed, or all that. And uh, being that this is hybrid, we weren't able to sell this seed, but now through our tech agreement, they switched it. So now we can sell it as a cover crop seed, which I don't know, we're gonna have to figure out uh, what game we're gonna play. Um, we were offered a dollar a bushel for it, and uh, that's just highway robbery. These guys are just taking advantage of the farmers that are stuck with it. Um, and there's people with a lot more bushels than I am, than I have. So we dumped three semi loads in that gravity box in this bin. And uh, I figured there's 31 to 3,200 bushels in there, which field average would have been 75 to 76 bushels an acre. Less than what I wanted, and I can't give you an exact because it hasn't crossed the scale yet. So, uh, I don't know. I'm getting a sour taste of rye in my mouth, but again, I don't know. This is my first year. This could have been just a big mistake on my end. I probably should have took it way wetter and uh, dried it down but this is a learning curve. So I will see what's gonna happen. Um, we might actually end up feeding it. Cattle prices are good, and uh, there's a lot of energy, some protein in it, and uh, people are mixing it and, uh, with corn on finishing rations or feeding it straight to uh, background in. So I'll keep you guys posted. Kind of a shitty deal to be honest, but a lot of money. I mean, that was almost, what, $30,000 that I was expecting that uh, we'll get it. I mean, it's not going to be complete waste. It's whether you got to feed it through the, cow, the cattle or sell it for cover crop seed. I don't know. We'll figure something out. It's just, uh, like Amanda said, we're ready for this shitty year to be done. Uh, sorry for my language. I try to keep it clean on this on the YouTube channel, but it's uh, it's been one heck of a year. So, on a little lighter note, you guys know my daughter Courtney. Her uh, nighttime routine is watching one YouTube video a night right before bed, and uh, she's she likes all you guys. She watches a lot of you guys' farm channels. She's been watching a lot of Ormond Cemetels, and uh, lately it's been Rock Hard Ranch. So. If you guys know Rock Hard Ranch, she's got goats. So these are, uh, I know nothing about goats, but Nigerian dwarfs or something like that. Uh, these two are males, banded males. And uh, the right one's Chevy, left one is Turbo. And then we got two females over here. Brown spotted one's Tesla. And the one drinking is Avery. So. Thank you to Rock Hard Ranch. More chores on the farm. Wednesday, August 21st, we had this heifer with a lump on her jaw, or cheek, 
I think it might be a cheek abscess. We uh, gave her shots and lanced it. So now we're gonna give her a second round of shots and then let her back out in the cow yard. Come on. Good girl. Just like that, back to the herd. Our pasture in a bag is really shrinking. Luckily we have a whole nother bag. The other day, August 19th, we separated our two bulls. So breeding season is officially over with. The chores are done for the morning. Everybody's enjoying her silage. That cow we treated came right down here and started eating. And she's eating better than I've seen her eat for a couple weeks. Um, I don't know if that mouth horse ulcer or uh, what it, exactly it is, but it could have been we tried feeding uh, some pretty rough canary in the ring without grinding it. Uh, that would have been a month ago now. Um, and it could have been like a scratch or an injury in the cheek. So we got that lance, got her treated two rounds. And uh, back out with the cows, we're gonna keep an eye on her and see what happens. So next video, we will be bailing alfalfa, hopefully, and uh, maybe cutting more tough grass. But that'll be the end of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow along for more. Catch you in the next one. Have a good week, everybody.